Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video on Frankenstein's Ego ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. I do have a video showing you how to install that. You're going to want to check that out. I will link to it in the description of the video. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop into it. Right away, you'll notice you do have the stock ice cream sandwich base launcher, but it is Apex launcher, which is obviously... Um, just like stock, but it does have added tweaks. This is an FE10 based ROM at the moment. I'm sure it'll be updated if more leaks come. But let's go into settings and go to About Phone. And under About Phone, you'll see um, Android version 4.0.4 right there. And we are on Frankenstein's Ego FE10 right there, build number. So, yes, it is FE10, the ice cream sandwich based leak. So, it is obviously uh, themed as well. Um, so it's uh, looking very nice. So I do want to give a shout out to Echo OCE for this ROM. A good friend of mine. Definitely want to give him a shout out. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into other things. As I said, Apex Launcher. When you go to Menu, just go to Apex Settings and you have a bunch of different ones. I don't want to run through them all. I might potentially do a separate review video of it. But anyways, you got Home Screen, Drawer, Dock folder and such you can sweep through the dock and you've got three different pages of dock settings so that's a little bit different for you guys just kind of a little tip there but anyways as i said it's fe10 lock screen though is the stock ice cream sandwich lock screen where you get the camera there and unlock there so two things there you can sweep down the notification bar up at the top uh, while you're locked as well uh, nice wallpaper i do like this wallpaper nice uh dandelion style wallpaper is pretty cool actually um, but anyways let's go ahead and look at some other stuff of course in the after with apex launch we've got all your apps along with downloaded and widgets so you got all your widgets as well but app wise um, some things out of the ordinary usb switcher which will actually allow you to switch to N mtp mode which is another way that you can obviously transfer files and such uh, you also have SDX stack app removal. What that is going to do is allow you to manage system apps. You can delete certain ones if you don't like any of the system apps, obviously. So it's a simple and easy way to do that, just like Titanium Backup does. So just another easy, simple way to do so. Uh, other than that, though, I mean, you have a themed uh, phone, I phone application. As you can see, it's themed just like Ice Cream Sandwich, uh, logs and favorites and such as well. So um, nice theming work there, of course, looks just like uh, stock Ice Cream Sandwich. Up at the top, though, we do have a bit of a theme uh, change right here. Uh, we have a blue battery icon as opposed to the green one that is obviously in the stock ROM. Of course, you have your signal bars and 3G icon. But swipe down, and you got a very cool-looking notification panel up here Wi-Fi Bluetooth GPS silent and 4G looks very cool very clean as well it uh, is not it's somewhat see-through the background you might not be able to because it's very dark tinted but when you look really closely you can somewhat see through it so uh, there you have it there just a very nice themed notification bar there did a very great job with that of course you do have the basically stock ice cream sandwich browser you don't have the touch with browser so nice that that is included um, loads on up of course you got your tabs etc the same with all the uh, one just like on the galaxy nexus that kind of browser or any other cm9 rom etc etc but uh, otherwise you have the silent camera actually so uh, when you take a picture with the camera i do have sound on right now when you take a picture it's not going to make a noise there you go, no noise. Usually when it does, it uh, makes a, a clicking noise um, and it, when it takes a picture. So thankfully it does not have that. Of course, you got your folders options there. Um, no, nothing changed there. You got the Play Store. Messaging application is themed. Um, keyboard wise, you do have the ice cream sandwich keyboard. Um, let's go ahead and text Google and say hey to Google. Uh, let's send that to them. And of course, as you can see, it is themed. So a nice themed messaging application there. Um, I believe the incoming text messages are blue. I'm sure I'll get one soon from Google right there. So there you have it. So you got white and blue there. So very cool messaging application. The notification and ringtones are actually increased in sound. So um, they should be a little bit louder. Um, so no, no complaints if you can't. Uh, they're not loud enough. So I believe he increased the volume on them a little bit. He did make some tweaks to increase battery life as well. So battery should be very good. Shouldn't have any issues at all with battery. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, everything is very smooth. I've been running this for a little while and everything's been smooth. Battery life has been good. 
Um, I believe it has the unlocked Sprint hotspot. I'm not positive though, don't hold me to that. You might have to download Wi-Fi Tether from the Play Store if uh, it doesn't, because it is pre-rooted, of course. You, uh, you are pre-rooted. Um, other than that though, nice theming to the settings menu. Do want to show that a uh, nice blue over scroll glow along with nice icons there on the left side but nothing out of the ordinary it is fe10 so i mean if you've ran stock fe10 um it's it's similar to that obviously it's just tweaks with a, it's got his many different uh, individual tweaks for it, it does have add-ons as well i go over those and actually the how-to videos if you want to check that out it has a very cool boot animation um the nice eyeball boot animation uh, you can check that out if you want it's at the end of my how-to video if you want to see that you have HD YouTube as well, so you can watch videos in HD on YouTube through your device. Uh, so if you want to watch any of my videos in HD, go right ahead through the YouTube application in this uh, ROM. But uh, other than that, that's that's really it. Otherwise, uh, the, obviously the silent camera is very nice. I know a lot of people are complaining about the noise that it does make, which I agree. It's very annoying um you got uh, the theme messaging I icon uh nothing else is really themed but uh, of course you got it blue now overall a really great rom running very smooth i do like the lock screen i like uh having the stock ice cream sandwich lock screen going on the theming is great the notification bar looks very good as well everything is working i haven't ran into any issues whatsoever there so that's really about it. That's all I wanted to go over. If you have any questions at all, any comments, just let me know. Be sure to uh, leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.